Congress is back in session and Democrats are hoping to pass a bill protecting marriage equality in the wake of the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Meanwhile, lawmakers are facing a deadline to fund the government and avoid a shutdown at the end of the month. ABC's Kenneth Moten joins me live now for more on all of this. Kenneth, a lot going on in Washington. Yeah. This marriage equality bill, it already passed the House. So do Democrats have enough Republicans on board to pass it in the Senate? Uh, that's a good question. It remains unclear at this point because we know Senator Susan Collins, the moderate Republican from Maine, she was working to get some of her colleagues, at least 10 of her colleagues, on board to support codifying um, and passing that marriage equality bill. Uh, so when she returns, when all these lawmakers return today, we will see where she and her office, where they stand on trying to get those and wrangle those Republicans uh, to join her. But it's something that is a priority for Democrats, along with a whole list, a laundry list, Diane, of other priorities for Democrats who want to go into the midterms strong, saying this is what we've done for you legislatively. Uh, we've got a lot of wins under our belt. Uh, and so we expect this period before the midterms to be pretty active. Now, lawmakers are facing a new deadline to fund the government. So what's at stake there and how is that looking? Uh, it's Groundhog Day, uh, Diane, always here in Washington. This is something, yes, of course, we have seen time and time again, averting a government shutdown. Will they be able to get together and fund this government? Uh, the short answer right now, it doesn't appear that they will. Uh, but they are trying to avert this government shutdown. They'll likely do a stop uh, short funding, uh, excuse me, I want to make sure I get this term right, a stopgap funding bill. I've had to say that so many times previously, you think I would have it definitely by memory, Diane. Uh, but yes, they want to get that stopgap funding bill that will likely kick down, kick the can down the road a little bit more until the end of the year, because they are so far off right now on uh, this funding bill, this long-term funding bill. But they have until September 30th to get it done. Again, we expect for that short-term measure to be put in place, and again, for uh, the Congress after the election to take it up near the end of the year. All right. Enjoy that Groundhog Day, Kenneth. Stay away from the toasters, <laughs> will you? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.